Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday to you. What is up everybody? Welcome to today's video and happy 4th of July. It is gonna be a good video today. I have six watermelons and I'm gonna be shooting them with different guns to see which gun has the biggest explosion when it comes to shooting a watermelon. So we're gonna be starting small and then working our way up to the 50 caliber, 50 BMG. So stay tuned for that. I had a lot of people comment on one of my posts asking what you guys think I should shoot and watermelons was a big one of them. So let's get to it. It's a little bit windy here today on the range, so hopefully that's not too big of a deal. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. I personally have never shot a watermelon with a 50 caliber, so I'm super, super excited to do that and see what happens. Brought the GoPro, this camera. We're gonna try and get some awesome shots. Let's just get into it. Let's just jump into it. Happy birthday, America. Happy freaking birthday. We're out here celebrating freedom in the best way possible, shooting guns and I'm excited. Hope you're excited too. To make this video just a little bit more exciting, I'm not gonna worry about shooting any, any watermelons with a 22. We're just gonna be jumping straight into the nine millimeter and work our way up from there. I just feel like the 22, yeah, it will hit it, but it won't do much. So we're gonna see what the nine millimeter does. Okay, I've got my ears on. I'm gonna be shooting the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield, nine millimeter. These are just full metal jackets. That's what we're gonna start out with. Got a GoPro down there recording everything. Hopefully I don't hit it. Hey, we killed it. Okay. The watermelon rolled like directly in front of the GoPro, so hopefully I didn't hit it. That is three shots of nine millimeter. The first one didn't do that much. Hopefully after I'm done shooting all these watermelons, hopefully there's just like a watermelon patch and this whole place is just full of watermelons. That'd be sweet, doing some gardening right now. On to pumpkin, pump. why do I keep saying pumpkin? Watermelon number two, we're gonna go farther out this time just cause I'm gonna be shooting the AR-15. Obviously I'm not afraid of it ricocheting off of a watermelon. It's just gonna go straight through, but here we go. Watch the GoPro off a little bit. Okay. I don't actually know how well this AR-15 is sighted in, so hopefully I don't hit the GoPro. Hopefully I actually hit the watermelon. Okay, firing the AR-15, two, two, three rounds. This is just a, a Bushmaster AR-15. It's been a fun gun. Hopefully I can hit this melon shoot standing up. The melon is out there somewhere. Here we go. I always forget to take the stupid safety off. Here we go, firing in three, two, one. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's go take a look-see. One shot did quite a bit of damage there. Completely tore this thing to pieces. It's like all, oh, that is disgusting. It's like all squishy. Okay, that is a good destroyed watermelon. GoPro doesn't have that much watermelon juice on it, so that's good. Ugh, oh, almost dropped it. When I saw these watermelons at, at Walmart, I had to jump on them because they were like $3 each. There was a sale going on, so I just bought a bunch of them. 20 minutes later, here I am out on the range. It feels good. Happy birthday, America. Probably gonna go a little bit farther, not too much, actually. Maybe I'll just go right here. Whew, I'm a little bit out of breath. Put it probably about 50 yards down. Before we take this next shot, let's give a shout out to GoPro, seriously. All the GoPros that risk their lives for channels like this. I mean, it's like a foot away from that watermelon. I could be a terrible shot and just hit that GoPro, so shout out GoPro. Thank you for always risking your life so that I can get cool shots. Hey, time for the 308 out of this Winchester hunting rifle. You did not hear the story of this rifle on my last video. This was my grandpa's very first hunting rifle. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know how well sighted in the scope is. Hopefully I can hit something right now. Oh, baby, that was a good shot. Holy cow. Freaking destroyed that thing. From what I could see on my end, that was the first watermelon to actually blow up. It completely turned this watermelon 
into juice. It's time. It's time for the pea shooter, ladies and gentlemen. The little gun, the 50 caliber. I think I'm just gonna haul at least two melons out there at once so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm kind of getting tired. And I forgot water. At least I didn't forget a gun or ammo or anything like that, so. I am gonna be taking this shot laying down. There's just no way that I can hit it holding it in this wind. They're probably about 125 yards out, those watermelons, so. Laying down will be a lot better. There's the beast. For size comparison, here is a good size watermelon and here is the 50 BMG bullet. This has got to do some serious damage. So, got my two melons out there. They're pretty far out. Hopefully I can hit them. I'm not too trusting in this scope, how well it's sighted in. Last time I sighted it in and shot it, it was off by probably two inches high. So, hopefully I can hit it. I've got a couple bullets here, so we're bound to hit it. And if I don't hit them from far away, I'll come closer. So there it goes in there, sits in there nice and pretty. Move this so it doesn't fall down. Cameras are rolling. Gun is somewhat ready. Gun is ready, safety's off. Watermelons are about to be destroyed. So I missed. Oh, I barely nicked the thing. Well, I did something. Let's go check it out. So I hit something. I hit something and it tore it apart and it's all juiced in there and it looks gross. I'm gonna be moving this pumpkin, pumpkin, Oh my gosh! Why do I keep saying pumpkin? For this shot, I'm gonna be moving the watermelon that's left a little bit closer. Okay, I set it where I hit the pumpkin with the... Oh my heck, if I say pumpkin one more time. I set the watermelon where I hit the wa other watermelon with the 308. Okie dokie. Gun is hot, off safety. Here we freaking go. I'm pumped, get pumped. I see the pumpkin. Why do I keep saying pumpkin? I see the watermelon. Permission to engage the target. Oh, the pumpkin fell. The watermelon fell, it's moving. The watermelon just flew down the hill a million miles. And we are clear. Got it set up again. Does it just go freaking straight through the pumpkin? What is happening? Well, there is my watermelon. You can see, wow, like that was a good hit. That's where I hit it, it just went all the way through. It didn't even blow it up. What the heck? Look at that. Is it just going too fast and too whatever? This was a fun extra little video that I decided to film for today. I'd already posted this week, but I wanted to post something today on the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. I hope you all have a good time. Celebrate safe, have fun. Be careful with your fireworks. You don't want to be starting any more fires like out here. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to shoot with this 50 caliber. Let me know what you want to shoot. I have some big stuff planned. I'm stockpiling stuff at my house and I have quite a few things already saved up that I'm going to be shooting. So thanks a ton for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.